Hello everyone, let's talk about sandwiches today. Well, the term sandwich actually came into being about 200 years ago and there lived a notorious gambler in the court of George III. His name was John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. The Earl gambling affliction was such that he would enter into 24 hours marathons at the gaming tables. Any eating that had to be done had to be quick and not to detract from the task at hand. The Earl Butler, who knew his master intensity, would place piece of bread with cheese or meat for his sustenance. The rest is well, not just history, but the history of the sandwich. And today, it is difficult to imagine a full-scale food service operation without that sandwich being a part of it. So today in this video, we are going to study about the sandwiches in detail. We are going to cover the definition plus the classification and the different types of sandwiches that are being served or are available. Now what is sandwich? Well, sandwich is a food typically consists of vegetable, cheese or meat placed between two bread or wrapped in a bread. Sometimes the filling is wrapped inside the sandwich like in the case of Mexico sandwich where the filling is wrapped inside and actually sandwich began as a portable finger food in the western world and with the rapid industrialization and the speed in tempo of the work the use of sandwich as a meal in itself is becoming popular and it is served for tea parties barbecue supper or with coffee used for picnic baskets also now there are different parts of a sandwich if you are planning to make your sandwich then first you must have one bread well bread you can use any type of bread there is no rule then spreads now there are varieties of spreads that we will study in detail in this video and then filling filling also limitless varieties you can use there is no rule also for filling you can put any type of meat or vegetable anything on top of the bread to make the sandwich and garnish is also is a part of sandwich only you can avoid them in the case of informal setting otherwise garnish is also must now there are different types of bread as i said and the most popular you can say is the pullman loaf or the sandwich bread and that may be white or brown then different types of rolls like soft roll, burger rolls, hot dog rolls, croissant and vena rolls are also popular. French breads and baguettes are also used for making footlongs and submarine sandwiches. And the bread made up of various flours such as rye, whole wheat, maize, multigrains are also used extensively. Unleavened bread like pita bread is also used these days for making sandwiches and for making sweet sandwiches generally different flavor breads like cinnamon breads raisin breads or fruit and nut breads are used now bread is actually the structural base of a sandwich that means it is the base and on top of the bread we put the other three part of the sandwich that means the spread as well as the garnish and the filling is put on top of the bread now if you are planning to make your sandwich you can use any type of bread and on the picture you can see some of the common breads that are generally used for making different types of sandwiches we have pita bread pita bread is unleavened bread then rye bread then focaccia then we have bruschetta well focaccia is available in many version plain version is preferred for making sandwiches now coming on to the spread well the main function of the spread is to hold the filling and the bread together it also forms a protective layer on the bread and prevent it from getting soggy from the moisture in the filling moreover it also adds to the taste of the sandwich and also increases the nutritive value of the sandwich different types of spreads can be used like plain and compound butter plain butter is simple and compounded butter is with different flavors like you can use parsley and all then mayonnaise and its derivatives then low fat spreads like margarine cheese spreads and cheese paste and the combination of the above that means you can use two spreads in combination also like you can use butter and cheese together or mayonnaise with another tomato sauce but 
whenever you are using any spread in combination make sure that the one spread should not dominate the other that means the spread should not mask the taste of the other spread so that thing you have to take care otherwise you can use two spreads for making sandwiches now coming on to the filling well filling is actually the main part of the sandwich and the name of the sandwich generally comes from the filling and filling can be a variety of limitless items the filling could be meat poultry fish egg cheese vegetable salamis cooked roast chicken cucumber tomato these are popular fillings that are generally used for making sandwiches filling also could be single item or a combination of several like ham and cheese cucumber and chutney bacon and tomato are generally used in combination but whenever you are using filling in combination make sure that the combinations are complementary to each other again the one filling should not dominate the other filling or the filling should not mask the taste of other filling so that you have to take care now on the picture you can see different types of filling that has been used in combination like ham and cheese then cucumber and tomato and then tuna sandwich with the lettuce leaf watercress so here the fillings are used in combination so same way you can also used for making any type of sandwich now coming on to the garnish well garnish is actually used to enhance the appearance and the presentation of the sandwich and garnish is necessary to create eye appeal and only in the case of informal setting the garnish can be avoided but garnish is also a part of the sandwich in the case of formal setting and the garnish can be simple but make sure whenever you are putting any garnish it should be delicate and it should not look cumbersome and ugly on the sandwich if the sandwich size is small then uh, accordingly the garnish must be chosen so that the sandwich does not look ugly now these are some of the popular or the famous garnishes that are generally used for varieties of sandwiches like vegetable garnish you can use cucumber gherkins then pig garnish generally preferred for the display whenever sandwiches are uh, put on that buffet then time you can choose the pig garnish then small tomatoes olives are also preferred and generally when you are presenting the sandwich in the platter to the guest that time also tomatoes and Uh, lettuce can be used now coming on to the classification of the sandwich broadly sandwiches are classified into two categories we have cold sandwiches and we have hot sandwiches under cold sandwich also there are two varieties like open cold and close cold under hot sandwich also there are two sub categories you can say open hot and close hot now let's talk about the different parts of sandwiches that are popular first one is is american club sandwich well this sandwich is usually served hot and consists of two buttered slices of toast one slice is the base on which sliced cooked meat or any vegetable or ham is placed and the other slice of toast is placed on top and then it is pressed and trimmed and then decorated and so ser- generally served between the folds of a paper napkin then buffet sandwiches are actually the fancy sandwich and generally the bread is cut by using different uh, sandwich cutters and the bread is given different shapes like triangle squares and the filling is generally delicate and the garnish used is also delicate in the case of buffet sandwich well bookmaker sandwich well this is buttered roll or french spread with french mustard and a grilled stick in between broadway sandwich two layers of toast with smoked salmon shredded lettuce sliced hard boiled egg served with mayonnaise then double decker sandwich well three slices are used and the filling is placed on the top and all these slices are buttered and one bread is placed on top of the other finally all the three breads are pressed trimmed and held together with a plastic cocktail stick with stuffed olive or cherry 
now coming on to the canopies well actually canopies are not actually sandwich but because breads are also used for making them so canopies are also included in the category now coming on to the hot dogs well for hot dogs generally the small bun rolls are preferred and the filling is put inside as you can see on the picture and then generally accompanied with condiments like ketchup and mustards then panini sandwich it it is made from italian bread such as ciabatta or michetta and usually served warmed by grilling or toasting in panini sandwich generally you will get the mark of the grillers as you can see on the picture now coming on to the conventional closed or lunch box sandwiches well these type of sandwiches consist of two slices of of bread with any filling you can use meat vegetables or egg and they may be served whole or you can cut into neat triangles or with or without the crust removed and they are ideal item for the lunch box and the school children and the office people also carry them for their lunch well tea sandwiches these type of sandwiches are also fancy and the crust is removed and the bread is cut horizontally and it is filled with ingredients like cheese meat or other food items and often served warm along with the tea roti bakar is actually a grilled indonesian sweet sandwich in which different types of fruits are used well fancy sandwiches they are made by using different color bread like you can use white and brown bread in combination and the filling that is used is also colorful and they generally add a new dimension to the cold buffet presentation some of the examples are ribbon sandwiches checkerboard sandwiches pinwheel roll sandwiches and mosaic sandwiches then coming on to the burritos well burrito is actually a wrapped sandwich with a flat tortilla and beginning i told you about the definition of sandwich in that i mentioned that sandwiches can be wrapped also so burritos is an example of wrapped sandwich and the main ingredients in these sandwiches are meat and beans or refried beans then hot sandwiches these are actually hot snacks but they are really hot served as hot uh, sandwiches some of the example you can see on the screen well that's all about sandwiches we'll meet again in the next video thank you